powerful threat has resurfaced. I sense that this force has been waiting, rebuilding its strength in secret until now. Are you guys the new recruits? You fail to see the big picture. But no turning back now. Strange sent us. We're your backup. Uh, that wizard glow circled right into the middle of our date. Scott, popcorn on the couch and reruns of Golden Girls is not a date. Stop calling it a date. Heads up, everybody. More incoming! Make good choices! What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. If this is your first time hearing about this Marvel Cinematic Universe interactive virtual reality that'll be at certain locations nationwide starting next week, then I'll make sure to link the initial trailer at the end of this. Certain people in the comments for that video made sure to note that this is actually a Marvel Studios production, specifically Marvel Studios. The voices you hear are actually the actors. The quality of the production to this is going to be something like what you're used to from the MCU, meaning this isn't some janky third party virtual reality game that they simply skinned last minute to look like an Avengers game, but something rather Marvel Studios has been working on to produce for quite some time. And now that they've given us a much better look at both the quality of the video game and the gameplay, we're going to break down whether this is worth it at the price point and the length of the experience, whether you should go suit up and play this if it's coming anywhere near you. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff, including copies of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD and fact we'll name a new winner at the end of this all you have to do hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so admittedly, we seldom review video games here at the channel, although I am an avid gamer myself, own a PSVR and an Oculus and use them all the time because of how this video game ties into the MCU and specifically because it's a Marvel Studios production coinciding with the Avengers universe, it made sense to break this down from a standpoint of do you actually want to go and do this? Now the first thing I noticed was the setup that you'd be wearing if there's actually a backpack and gloves included with the over the headset. This worries me for a couple of reasons. If you're used to doing VR, the first time you put that headset on it can be disorienting and if you're not used to VR at all and then all of a sudden have to also have a pack and tail it could mean that this experience is going to be a little overwhelming for the first time VR user that being said if you have never done a VR experience of any kind before the PSVR the Oculus Rift the HTC Vive but you're really intent on going and trying this then it might be a good idea for you to go ahead and do that first to sort of orient yourself with what VR is like it looks like this is going to be overwhelming which brings me to my second point Best Best I could deduce with all the information given at the time of posting this video, this looks like it's only 15 minutes long. If you follow the frequently asked questions link, it says to allow for 30 minutes with including wait time. If it's only a 15 minute experience, you may find you get the hang of this right as the experience is over, which means you might want to book one or more sessions concurrently. And if that's the case, your third question will obviously be, how much is this going to cost me? At a price point of $20 a ticket, so a pair costing you 40 plus tax, I think a couple times through this, if you're a fan of VR and the MCU would make sense. That's about $80 and definitely better than the price per ride if you were to go to a major theme park. I think that's also on par with what they want this experience to feel like, but they can bring it mobily to different areas like the void these locations that have setups for VR games like this that you normally wouldn't have at your house in conclusion if they're not careful with how difficult and overwhelming the game 
gameplay is, we may find that this game is better tuned toward the avid fan of VR who's also the fan of Marvel instead of the vice versa of that. If you're a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and again have never done any VR at all but you really want to do this, my best advice would be go find someone who has a PSVR, they're pretty ubiquitous at this point, and try it out. You may find it's not for you, some people get that helmet on and immediately get so disoriented and sick that they find they can't do it at all. You may want to find out if you're one of those people before you go and do this. Otherwise, if you're a fan of both, VR gaming and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this looks like the game for you. And we will, of course, post a full review after we go and play it ourselves when it's released here in a week. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about all of this. Does the second trailer actually hype you up if you were already planning to go do this? Does it look awesome that we're going to get to play as multiple characters? And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros as we have been at the channel for a while. We've given away seven already, the next of which is at the 500,000 subscriber mark, which we are headlong into and will easily hit by month's end. We're also giving away copies of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD today and tomorrow that'll wrap up this giveaway. The new winner for the DVD is Nick Little for this comment here. I want to see Spider-Man Deadpool friendships in the movies, bro. I definitely do too. Go ahead and DM me on my Instagram at IamFires or go ahead and email me at everythingalwaysyt at gmail.com. It's my official business email. Let me know whether you want the DVD or the Blu-ray and give me your information, bro. I'll send that right out. Guys, if you want to be entered to win either of the PlayStations, the last copy of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD or any of the future prizes we're giving away here at the channel throughout the holiday season, all the same rules apply. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name is Michael Roman, this is Everything Always. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.